All right, listen, I know I'm wrong about this, but I'm gonna share my struggle and I think we'll learn something. Hey, I'm Father Mark Mary with the Franciscan Friars of the Renewal and this is Ascension Presents. Uh, here's the struggle. This is like in, in walking with other people. I just struggling a little bit with like pride and humility because here's the thing. I don't feel like I'm encountering pretty much anyone who's struggling with pride understood in one sense. Pride meaning like they feel like they are so awesome <laughs> and they are just so impressed by themselves and they're like walking around thinking, wow, I am so good at everything and so great and everyone loves me and wow, there's probably people like that. But most people who I meet, most people who I meet are like really struggling uh, with self-image and they're really struggling with feeling if like they, like if if the world's totally indifferent to their existence, like, does it even matter that I'm here? Does anybody care? Uh, they experience their shame and their weakness. They, uh, uh, they don't like what they see in the literal mirror or the sort of reflective metaphorical mirrors They look back on themselves, right? Like, um, a lot of people really struggle with that. And so it is. So there's like a part of me, like, I don't know that I, I, I don't know that I see a lot of pride in, in one sense and and I don't know if like when people are really struggling they like they like really 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 are like struggling with like valuing themselves like no what you need to do is you need to pray for more humility but here's what I understand and I offer this it's a bit of a model and a witness we have 2,000 years of really really strong tradition and saints and spirituality saying like pride's the number one bad thing and basically like if you want to grow in virtue and you want to grow in, in following the Lord, like humility, humility, humility. So like, let's wrestle with this. Let's wrestle with this. Like what's, what's going on here? Number one, like humility, right? Like what is humility really? And, and, and I do think that sometimes humility kind of gets a, like uh, mischaracterized as like thinking that like kind of focusing on thinking like I'm a worm and I'm trash and I'm not good at anything. And, but right, like humility is also, is, it's, humility is knowing the, and living in the fullness of the truth who I am. So absolutely, absolutely. It's part of humility being in touch with our sinfulness. Yes, it's part of humility being in touch with a radical dependence on God. Absolutely. It's part of humility really having a grateful heart because we understood that uh, our Heavenly Father is the source of all good gifts and all that we have that is good is gift. Uh, is part of humility, understanding that actually we give, we're given all of these good gifts and we blew it and we need him to save us and we need him to save us like every single day and that he sustains us by his mercy and grace from just blowing all the gifts that he has given us. And does that need to be part of what we understand about ourselves? Absolutely. At the other hand, at the other hand, humility, living in the truth of who we are, uh, also involves like reverencing and respecting and, and owning our baptism and that by our baptism we are baptized into into Jesus's own relationship with his father and so that we are beloved sons and we are beloved daughters and that we have uh, we have an inheritance and that we have access to the father's heart and that he loves us and that he he desires to be with us forever we are sons and daughters of the king we are uh, we are we have a share as priest prophet and king like we have this this really 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 great dignity because of our baptism because of what it means to be Christian like like so so this is the thing like we need we need to keep both in context often the struggle right uh particularly when we're talking about humility is like basically and this isn't right and I, i'm and i'm this isn't i'm saying like what the classic like the, this father's writing but this is just kind of what it looks like like oh i need to think worse about myself i need to think this whatever 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 but but the the ability to be authentically humble to really look at ourselves, to be to, to, to be free from vanity, to be free from ambition and vainglory. Like that freedom is actually going to become from being more and more deeply rooted in our dignity and our belovedness as his sons and daughters. And so this is the thing, right? This is the thing actually of how we, we need to battle pride. Pride, it's when we're, we kind of think we're on our own. It's, it's the spirit of like of an orphan of like, because I don't know what I already have, I'm out there trying to, to, to grasp, to control, to conquer, or to take. And so, so sort of like a lot of these activities of the proud uh, man or woman, right? Um, it's actually like not so much that they think they're so great, but, they, but it's the fruit of them actually not knowing how great they are by who their father is, right? And so the remedy, the source of the grace to be free, 
to not be worried about uh, being chosen, to not being worried about uh, what other people think, to not being having to chase compliments and, and sacrifice morality for affection or attention. Like the freedom of the sons and daughters of God comes from being more and more deeply rooted in our belovedness and the great love and fondness and, and, and sort of, if we could use these words analogous, like the way that, like the Father's heart overflows with this visceral and deep uh, love that is just for us, how he never takes his eyes off of us, how he just, he creates all of this uh, because he loves you and because he loves me. Humility isn't just self-doubt and, and, it's, and, it's, not, and it's not self-hatred. Like right? Humility includes understanding our dependence and our sinfulness, but at the same time, at the exact same time, our belovedness and, and, and how, how desired uh, we are by our Heavenly Father and in the freedom the freedom from pride, the freedom to not be trying to, 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 again, to contract, to control, to be ambitious, to steal, to bring other, other people down. Like that freedom is going to come also again from the fullness of living from our identity as Christians. And so my brothers and sisters, like, like we're going to be praying uh, like the litany trust. I'm going to, we're going to be doing that for, for next week's video. And again, it's like, it's pretty intense. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Um, but part, like what, well, as we're asking for the freedom from like s some of these things, like again, we want to keep in the context because like we're experiencing this love, this chosenness, um, first and foremost, like from our Heavenly Father. And if, if He loves us and if He sees us, like it's so big and it's so overwhelming, like we can be free to not need to be trying to grab this and like grasp it. Uh, from other people. So again, it's great to be with you, great to be praying with you, great to be journeying with you. Uh, remember, we are pilgrims on this earth. So with peregrinos, poco a poco, little by little, vamos a llegar. We're going to make it.